Okay, one moment. Most important rooms of the house, the kitchen. We will be talking about everything in the kitchen, including appliances, utensils, cookware, and also plates, dishes, and glasses. Okay, very important. So let's get started. Let's go to my kitchen counter. This surface is a kitchen counter. I have a lot of counter space. All of this is counter space. I even have an extra table here in my kitchen which gives me additional counter space. Now, is this a counter? Well, not exactly. This is a table, but it gives me more counter space. Most people prefer to have a lot of counter space. On this counter, I have my coffee maker. All right, and to the right of the coffee maker is my bean grinder. I put coffee beans here in the bean grinder and this machine grinds the coffee beans and now they are coffee grounds and then I put the grounds here in a coffee filter. I put the filter in the coffee maker and you understand the process. It makes coffee. Here in the corner I have a French coffee press. It makes a different style of coffee. I don't use it very often. Here I have a little container of sweeteners, sweeten low and equal. The general word there is saccharin for the sweeten low and NutraSweet for the equal. Those are product names. Here is a little container of sugar. Okay, very good. Above this particular counter is a very important cabinet. So I am opening the door of the cabinet for you to see my glasses. These are drinking glasses. All right, glasses. And here you see coffee cups, coffee cups. These are not glasses and these are not cups. If you refer to these as cups, well, I understand you. But the better word is glasses. If you refer to these as glasses, well, I understand that also. But you need to refer to these as cups or coffee cups. Sometimes you go to a cafe and they give you a plastic cup, a styrofoam cup, or a paper cup. Well, also, those are coffee cups. All right. Very good. I have more coffee cups above. And then here, a measuring cup and I measure liquids with my measuring cup. All right. I also measure other substances like rice and flour and sugar. All right. Measuring cup. Okay. Great. So now I'm going to close the cabinet door. I'm going to close the door gently. I'm not going to slam the door. Well, yes I will. Just to show you. See, I slammed the door. And most people don't like that. So, to slam is to close very hard. Okay? So, let's continue. Let's go to the sink. This part of the kitchen is the sink. It's very important. Then my particular sink has two sides. All right? And two drains. These are drains. And this little thing here that stops the drain is called a stopper. The stopper plugs the drain. It plugs the drain and now the water accumulates here in the sink. Usually the water is hot water with soap and with this water I clean dirty dishes or I scrub the dishes and then I put the dishes there in the dishwasher. Okay? So yes, the water accumulates here on the left side and then when I want the water to pass to the drain, I just remove the stopper or the plug. Okay, very good. On this side is another drain and it goes to the garbage disposal. Very important. The garbage disposal is a machine under the sink 
There it is. It's a little dangerous. Be careful with it. And this machine breaks down organic food and other substances, and then it passes the food over to the trash through the pipes. Okay? So very important. The garbage disposal. It breaks down food and passes the substances to the trash. All right, very good. This mechanism here is called the faucet. Everything here is the faucet. I take the handle of the faucet, I move it to the left, sorry, to the right for cold water, and I move it to the left for hot water. This particular part is called the spigot. When I turn on the faucet, the water pours from the spigot on into the sink. All right. So that function is very basic. Here is a scrubber. The scrubber scrubs dishes. <laughs> pots, pans, everything to remove food particles. And here is another scrubber. This one has liquid soap on the inside. I have another bottle of liquid soap here. I use this soap to wash dishes and to wash my hands. And this is another stopper or plug. All right, very good. I'm continuing to the left of my counter space. And you see here various items of the kitchen. Okay, we use these things all the time, but we are learning the words for these things. This is a pan or frying pan. And here I fry food or cook food maybe saute food. Those are different culinary words that we will talk about in our cooking series. Okay, very good. So this is a pan and this particular thing is a pot. Ordinarily, the difference between a pan and a pot, a pot is deeper. It, it's deeper. There's about five inches here and this is only two inches. So in the pot I make stews, soups, mashed potatoes, casseroles, many different types of, of dishes, many types of food. Okay, and this here is the lid. This is the cover. It covers this pot and it also covers this pan. It is a lid or a cover. This is a pitcher. P-I-T-C-H-E-R. The exact same word for the guy in baseball who throws the ball. He is a pitcher. All right, this particular pitcher is full of water, cold water, and I usually keep this in the refrigerator when I want cold water. This particular pitcher is special because it, it mixes the liquid inside. That's not really necessary with water, but it's very nice with juices. Okay, to the left of the pitcher is a colander, colander, or in another word for this is strainer strainer or colander. There is no real difference between these words. Okay, the purpose of the strainer is to strain foods, to remove liquids and moisture from the food. Alright, so I put the mashed potatoes in or just the regular potatoes or maybe pasta inside or fruits and vegetables to clean them and the water passes from the bottom and the food remains or stays in the colander or strainer. All right, very good. Also on this counter, I have a toaster. And the toaster, I put in the bread. I push the button down. And the toaster heats up the bread. Or it toasts the bread. And then the result is toast. The bread is then toast. Or it is toasted. Good. I have another two French coffee presses there in the corner. I don't use them very often and I also have a cookbook or a recipe book. All right, very good. And another thing I have here is a platter. And on this I serve hors d'oeuvres or snacks to my guests. It does the function of a plate, but it's not exactly a plate. This here is another platter. And so I can serve many things on there, maybe chips. Окей. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. Спасибо большое, что вы просмотрели и прослушали. And for watching, of course. 